Welcome back to Wasteland 2. So I ended the last episode when I was at the swing, back at the Rail Nomads camp, because of this note. Engineer's note, swing, gun, dig. Which I'm still thinking is some sort of a vague direction to where something is buried. I'm still taking it to mean that at, at a swing, there's maybe a gun under the ground and you have to dig to find it, or something like that. So, I tested some other stuff out when I was back there, at the beginning of this episode, before I actually started recording. I tried digging absolutely everywhere. Um, I even thought maybe the note means, at like, maybe I need to use the gun on the swing and then <laughs> dig. Like, I don't know why you do that, but I tried shooting the swing. And, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, it did not do anything. All I did was waste some pistol rounds. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's not the swing. Maybe the note doesn't mean what I think it means. I'm not sure. One thing I did discover, however, is that you can actually use the shovel on people. I'm digging your grave, Harper. Right under your feet. You better be dead by the time I'm done. It doesn't actually do anything, but, but you can do it. Don't know why. Alright, oh yeah, and apparently this rat increases Vulture's Cry's intelligence. The secret secret of Nim. Nim. <laughs> Alright, let's go here. So I took out the Thebes. And, uh, let's see what's down this way. Gotta keep a lookout for explosives, so slow down. Yep. I knew it. thieves. Looks like that's it as far as explosives go. Okay. So we know they're a bit tough. Um, my people have decent health. I don't want to heal them anymore. They're going to level up pretty soon. Should be okay, but this time I want to actually position my people before the fight. That will help. Also, they don't have a height advantage, which is also going to help a lot. Um... Can I get my people into cover before they see me? Maybe. If this guy doesn't turn around. We kind of need to get into cover here, because if we don't get into cover here, they're going to take this cover, and we're going to be out in the open. They're going to be peppering our ass with bullets. I like pepper, but not on my ass. Although I will leave Helen and Vulture's Cry out here. I guess. Eh, maybe I shouldn't. Well, I will, but I'll put them a little bit more forwards. Everybody's loaded. Well, apparently not. Now they're loaded. It's gonna see me if I get too close. Eh, eh. I could burst him right now and probably kill him, actually. Alright, it's moving right now. Go, 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 go! Alright. Save. Switch fire mode. Well, did get the first shot, but it's fine. We're in a pretty good place. Fortunately, she's under pressure. <laughs> He's taking cover behind these tires. Yeah, they're like one foot high. 
It's not a very good cover. I, I guess it protects his feet? Sure. I'm gonna go for this guy, actually. My uh, chance to hit him is not bad. Nah, alright, let, let's burst this guy down. So I can spend 3 AP and still burst, move as far away as possible. Alright. Yeah! Whew. Beautiful. Your blood stain is a work of art. And your leg there is just fucking amazing. Just beautiful. Once again, under pressure. I can move 2 AP and still burst. Let's move here. Okay. 42% chance? That is not good. Yeah, he's still a little bit too close. I'll risk it. Yeah, so it makes a roll for the hit chance for every single shot of that burst. Which is good to know. So it's not like if you miss the first one, you're gonna miss all of them. So the low percent chance to hit is still not not terrible. Well, I blew up the car. <laughs> that was cool. Ooh. Guess I should probably burst him as well. Uh, Harper's bleeding. Shit. Almost got him. One more shot will do it. Um, <laughs> the rat's gonna get a turn next. I don't know if I want to use a sniper round on him. It might not be worth it. Nah, the dogs and the animals will take care of him. Alright, let's focus on somebody else. Both of these dudes are the same. Let's go for you. Get him, rat. Get him. Chew off his leg. Or, oh, what? What? That's the wrong one. What are you doing? Get him, dog. Thank God you went for the right one. What are you people doing? No, don't shoot the fucking rat. Oh. Idiots. Idiots. All right, hold on. Yeah, I'm actually gonna burst you. Don't you kill my dog! Still not gonna waste a damn shot on you, you only have nine hit points. Well, then again, there's only a 33% chance to hit you. Hmm. Might be a good time to use my pistol. Or I could relocate my sniper. Yeah, let's move here, and then I'm going to put you under ambush. Okay. I think I can handle this. Actually, I'm going to keep Harper back here, because he has very low health. Don't shoot the dog. There you go. Shoot the arm, not the dog. Alright, start moving up on this dude. I knew you would move. Ha <laughs> ha! No! You fuck. You fucking fuck. You shot my rat. And now, now, Vulture's Cry is dumber because of it. You indumbing bastard. Your 
There's no way my snipers can get a shot on you. Uh, yet, anyway. Oh, sight's blocked. Okay, here we go. Now we can start making stuff happen. 38 hit points. Alright, I'm not going to kill him in one hit. Out of range. Alright, well, if I start shooting him in the face with a shotgun, he is going to run. Probably over here. move here, can she shoot him out of cover? Oh, hold on. Actually, I can move further. Yeah, there we go. I was in burst fire mode. Go. Go. What the hell? Move. There we go. Nice! Two levels up, including Harper, who is gonna die if I don't level him up, because he's bleeding! Oh my god! Call! Quickly! Quickly! Call! Copy, Echo-1. This is Report! Rain. Congratulations, Report. Echo-1. Oh, thank god. Seriously, Harper was about to die. He had, like, three hit points. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I really need to start selling my stuff. I need to go back to Ranger Citadel pretty soon. Because I don't really want to sell my stuff until I've seen whether some of it is... Uh, something I could use for the museum. Or... Any shit for the explosives. Literally shit. <laughs> um, also, weapon parts. Get a good price for those. Alright. Yeah, there's all these damn makeshift cleavers, which aren't even worth that much. There we go. Oh, no. She's overburdened. I should probably start stripping down these weapons, actually. That would save a lot of weight. In fact, hmm, maybe I should do that right now. Yeah, let's do it with the melee weapons. I'm going to strip down the melee weapons. Wait, this one's special. Oh, right, the grip tape. Oh yeah, but she doesn't use that anymore. But should I leave it just in case she needs to use it? I think she's only got one skill point. Yeah, she's only got one skill point in blunt weapons. Nah, forget it. Okay. Let's get to work. Grip tape is actually worth less than the weapon, isn't it? Which I suppose means that if I don't actually want the grip tape, it probably would be better if I don't turn everything into garbage. Eh, whatever. It's fun. So much grip tape. Okay, now she's not burdened anymore. Excellent. Another one of these. I started using this with 
Harper, right? So I suppose I should probably give it to Theodore, too. Oh shit, there's an alarm. Except everybody's dead, so it shouldn't matter. Anybody coming? Yeah, there's no one else here. For the love of God, would you shut up? Thank God. Alright, weapons. Time to distribute the goods. Well, we already distributed them, but time to actually use them. Maybe. Is it better than the M4 Carbine? No. Wait, yes? No? Higher armor penetration, lower damage. Higher crit, lower AP. Mm, given the lower AP and the fact that you can shoot twice, I think it might be better. Yeah. Working tumbler. Damn it! Harper's overburdened. Please don't explode. Okay. Oh my god, so many laser discs. <laughs> That's your valuable material. Who would even store laser discs? There's nothing to read them on. Okay, you have too many damn things. How are we doing on weight? I mean, who who's not carrying the appropriate amount? Uh, Vulture's Cry, kind of? A little bit. There we go. Aw, oh, these cars are hugging each other. There's a trap. A human eyeball. Why would somebody put that in there? I must wonder. I see you, mound of dirt. Try again. Oh, I accidentally used the shovel on herself. Whoops. <laughs> so wh why are people burying laser discs? Weird. Freaking weirdos. I mean, I've seen massive, like, toads and wolves and shit and androids, but for some reason, none of that is nearly as weird as the fact that people seem to like laser discs. Oh, yeah, I still need to spend their skill points. Merkin. A fucking Merkin? What the hell? I give it a Harper. He uh, accidentally shaved a little bit too much off last time he was uh, doing some, some manscaping. It's such a stupid term, manscaping. 
Anyway. That alarm goes on. Let's examine the Merkin. Is this supposed to be some kind of glue-on glue mustache? Sure. Yeah. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> Skill points. Who leveled up? Two people. Uh, you. Yes. Okay. Assault rifle skill is good. Uh, she took computer science. Yeah. Right, you leveled up too. Weaponsmithing or perception? Both are kind of important. I mean, I keep not finding traps. Which is bad, but at the same time, if I get four weaponsmithing, I can do the high-capacity mags. How important are these high-capacity mags, though? Minus 2% chance to jam, plus 4 capacity? That doesn't really matter that much. But then again, higher weapon spending also gives you a better chance to just find good parts. So, that's good. Hmm. Let's do weapon spending. More thieves. The big camp of these bastards. Oh my god. Holy shit, there's so many of them. They don't have any snipers, do they? Gunner. Cutter. No, which I believe means that I could try to plink at them with snipers from far away and set up my people here. Rather than going across the bridge to face them. Yeah. I like that, although the bridge is slightly raised up. Could be a little height advantage if I was there. Or height advantage to them if they are there. Is that eggshells on the ground? I suppose glass would make more sense, wouldn't it? I like eggshells, though. Sounds fun. What's this little symbol here? Oh god, I can move this. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, I can make it vertical. I didn't know you could move this stuff. Crap. How do I reset it? I don't want it to be off the screen. Eh, good enough, whatever. Okay, into position. I don't know if this is a good idea. This might be a terrible idea. There's not that many places to take cover. <laughs> Can I take cover behind that rock? I guess we're about to find out. Let's get everybody in on this shot. Go! Wait, what did that guy just say? Chugga chugga choo choo, motherfuckers! Rail thieves, attack! Four hit points. Ah, uh, the rest are out of range, so let's kill them. All right, so everybody else is just going to be set on Overwatch. I mean, ambush. Sorry, this is an XCOM. It's totally XCOM. Yeah, they're going to try to come to us. At least the melee ones. Yeah, I'm just going to keep ambushing. Let them get shredded upon our bullets. I, take, I can't take cover here. The one direction I want to take cover. Wonderful. Alright, I should probably burst you, right? Yeah, it's burst. Whew! Nice, Harper. I'm proud of you. 
A grenade here would be amazing. I might actually throw a grenade here. Maybe. Who has a grenade? I don't know if I can switch items between characters while in combat. I know we can equip items while in combat, but... Hmm. Oh, for the love of God. Do you have a bomb? Nope. Burst. Oh. That dog's gonna die. He gonna die. Provost is gonna die, actually. this will kill you. Are you serious? I would just like to go into the weapon for a second and just take a look at this. 3% chance to jam. I'm pretty sure that's not a typo. But it seems like all these weapons should say 75% chance to jam. Oh god. He's in trouble. Doggy! Oh no! Oh, okay. Explosive would not be very good here, because my people are there. Go for this dude, actually. I think he's more dangerous. Cause he's got a he's got a gun. All right, we need to move up. Is a bomb a bad idea? Hold on. What about my other weapon? What's their armor? Two. Threshold on this is oh, it's three. Yeah, so this would be terrible. But... There are grenades. Oh, 6 AP. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Just to the left of the dog, and just a little bit short from the provost. There's no way I'm going to kill you, so I suppose I should try to burst you. Just don't hit the dog, please. Please don't hit the dog. Oh, no! Harper! Medic! Do you suddenly hate us? Is it because of the dog? Because we accidentally hit the dog? Hold on. Harper Overton's bullet ripped for a, a dog for 23 points of damage, blasting it into chunks of steaming meat. Eh. I didn't hit the Provost, did I? No? What the hell? That's really weird. I guess he doesn't like... No good-for-nothing accidental dog killers? Apparently he doesn't give a shit about rats, though. Racist. I mean, I've heard that you can get people over to your side in combat using... Animal Whisper and Hack. Maybe I should wait for somebody else's turn and see if I can fix him? 
Maybe he's not a lost cause? <sighs> I don't think so. Okay, um... No, okay, I'll leave him alive for now. Whew! Beautiful. Seven percent chance to hit. Yeah, that's not good. They're in a very good position. We need to move up if we want to do something against them. Who's going next? We got a bunch of turns and we got all of them. Okay. Wait, there's a third dude. Who's... Oh, you. Okay, well, Yulia can throw a grenade, which, honestly, is probably what I should do. Unless I'm going to kill a Provost. This was working out really well, but now... Maybe I should retreat. Because I really don't want to go up on their position here. They're, they're in a good position, and I'm not. Um. Let's see what happens. I'm going to ambush. It's a really good time to use my shotgun. Then again, she's really hurt. Hmm. Actually, it's not a great time to use my shotgun. No, I'm pulling back. Ambush. Okay, can I use my computer skill on him? No. I still feel like he's an android, but I don't know. Alright, let's see what happens. I th yeah, I think they're gonna move forwards towards us. Cause they don't, I don't think they can hit us. Woohoo! I don't think they can hit us from uh, where they are. Except this guy apparently thinks he can. Friend what do you mean friendly fire? How could it be friendly fire if he's f a fucking enemy to us? That, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, this jackass is standing out in the open. Burst. God damn, that's so powerful. I'll just ambush with you. Same with you. Do I have to kill you? The game seems to think you're both friendly and an enemy at the same time. I don't get it. You know, I think I need to have a smoke while I think about this. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm not done I'm not done thinking. More. Hmm. I don't know. Ambush. He's even bleeding. Maybe if, I mean, if if the game seems to still think he's friendly, maybe if I kill this other dude, combat will end. Oh god. Well. Yep. You missed all your shots. Ugh. It's a big waste of ammo. All right, he's not moving. Here's what I'll do. I'll move up behind your ass. Yeah, I can't melee with my AP. Didn't think so. I'm gonna leave you there, and he's gonna freak out and run. And when he does that... He's gonna get some hot lead coming his way. <laughs> I 
<laughs> he just moves to the other side of the bridge. And then, this is going to happen. Actually, wait a minute. I don't need to waste the ammo, do I? Nah, let's not waste it. I want to use Yulia. Yeah, because she has a lot of shotgun shells. Or Helen's pistol, I suppose that'd be fine. Mm, I might be able to get one shot here. Alright, Helen. 13%. If you don't make this, you're going to hell. Alright, you're going to hell. Enjoy. What will the Provost have on him? Whoa, Owl of Minerva? What the hell? What a very strange, strange person. Dog color. Oh, that was on the dog. The dog. Oh, that was my own dog. Oh, I just realized that. Now everybody's burdened. And there's more. There's so much. Alright, let's get our levels. Copy, Echo One. This is yeah, congratulations, Echo One. Did you level up? Yeah, it was you and Helen. One thing I can increase is Surgeon, which I don't really care about that much. I almost want to do Field Medic, field medic next, but I know that the amount of health that increases you, like the amount of health that you heal, how much that increases that is not much. At least for the small Medic Packs, the Pocket Medic Packs. That's pretty shit. I'll just save your points. Oh no, it wasn't Helen that leveled up, it was Angela. Right, well I'm not using your outdoorsman weapon spending or blunt anymore, so it's gonna be brute force, hard ass, or assault rifle. You know, I totally forgot about her brute force skill. Again. It doesn't seem to really matter, at least not right here. I don't know. More hard ass? I don't feel like she really needs it. Nobody's had. Nobody's required five uh, above five. I've got to save her points. All right, we gotta convert some of these. Gotta weapon smith these. Twenty-five percent chance of long barrel, fifteen percent high capacity mag, ten small scope, ten sturdy mag, forty percent junk weapon parts. It's quite a bunch, <laughs> quite a bit of stuff, and of course I got the broken weapon parts. Wonderful. Really, broken everything. Okay. Except the grip tape. I seem to be very good at getting grip tape. Yep. Got tape and mags for days. I 
In fact, given how damn freaking good this M16 is, why don't we go ahead and install the mag? Beautiful. Yeah, I don't want to waste those parts on any weapon that isn't something I want to stay with for a while. And I don't really want to stay with these HK-33s all that badly. They're decent, but they're not great. Oh wait, hold on. I wanted to read the description for that owl thing. An owl, eyes deep with wisdom and forbidden knowledge, is carved into this small stone medallion. The Greek letters Alpha, Theta, and Epsilon bestride the bird. That's so weird. What is that? I'm certainly not selling it, that's for sure. I want to step on this glass. It's weird. What is this? Does it do something? No. <laughs> that's so weird. It's like the level designer is like, hmm, I feel like this place is missing something. I need to put down like a decal on the ground. Oh, I know. Somebody broke a bottle here. Click. Okay, it's perfect. Oh, that, it is still there. What I mentioned in the last episode about the fact that you can use your demolition skill to tell whether something is trapped, even if you don't have the perception skill to even tell that it's trapped, it seems like that does actually work. So I'm trying to use Yulia's demolition. And look, there's a trap on this thing. But if I get near it and right click it, it doesn't say anything about a trap. You know, that obviously seems like an exploit. However, at the same time, wouldn't it have been fixed by now? It's been a while. Well, regardless, it's a cheap thing to do, so I don't want to actually do it, but I was curious if that's even possible, and it seems that it is. However, given that I'm not supposed to know that it's trapped, the only honorable thing to do is do that. Small scope. I'll probably install that on the sniper rifles. I'm not sure if she already has one installed. I think she does. Yeah, a small scope. And a sturdy mag. However, Vulture's Cry's weapon does not. There we go. Damn it, she's overburdened. Damn it, no, she's overburdened. Not too much. A large sign has been hung over the door, declaring, Now entering the lair of Magenti. You are filled with a nameless dread.
Wait, the person's too far away. What are you talking about? I don't know what the hell that was. Okay, given that there's an alarm here, obviously there's an alarm trap on this thing. Which, since I don't have alarm disarm, I don't believe I can actually, well, disarm. Yep, finds an alarm. That is not the demolition skill, no. It's not the computer anything skill, nope. In that case, fuck it. just happened? They were waiting for us. They spotted us from really far away. Holy shit. Those guys just wrecked us. They were all in ambush, I guess. I can't even see this dude. Heavy gunner, fuck. I almost want to just run everybody away. Because, yeah, actually, I think I should run everybody away, because they're in cover and we're not. The problem is, though, if I do that, I'm going to leave... ...some of my people here to take all the shots. Who's this dude? Someone over there. He has an interesting picture, though. He looks like he's a named guy. Alright. I'm running away. Make them come to us. Unfortunately, the ones left behind are going to have to take <laughs> some nasty damage. Yeah, far enough away that they cannot be in cover and come to us at the same time. That's the plan. Getting a little V going on. Did you miss and accidentally hit Yulia? God damn. This is not looking good. Okay, now we can start overwatching. Let's overwatch with burst. Sure. I should not have overwatched with burst. Should probably go for the heavy gunner. These melee guys, <laughs> look at their wearing. These melee guys don't do much damage. Actually, look what this guy's wearing, too. They're all wearing very strange clothing. What about this headshot that I've, like, never used? Minus 40% chance to hit. 0% critical chance. I don't know, that just never seems like a good idea, but... Eh. Ambush with you. They're taken to their knees. Fancy. Alright. 
Uh, this guy has four armor, so that actually might be a good place to use my energy weapon. Just keep bursting the big dude. Nice! Oh my god, that was really good. That was really, really good. Five hit points. And bleeding. Okay, Yulia's in... Yeah, she's bleeding. She's in a lot of danger. Need to kill this big dude, but this big dude does not have a turn for a long time, so that shouldn't be a problem. I gotta keep bursting these people. God damn it, he's such a terrible shot, though. Eh, whatever. Alright. Let's take him out. <clears throat> I said, let's take him out! Don't hit Harper, please. Thank you. There's no need to burst you, is there? Yeah, if I want to guarantee you die, yeah. Okay, she's very close to dying. I need to move her back. Yeah, she's gonna die if she's up front. Well, let's burst this dude, I guess. That was terrible. Oh, I didn't mean to reload. I meant to switch. It's okay, I still have enough AP. Uh, hang back and try not to die. Yeah. Let's rush him. He's got full health. Not bad. This dude should be easier to hit than he actually is. He took a knee and it's like he's an invisible target. <laughs> now my medic's bleeding. It's not a good thing. Wait, is this guy technically in cover because he's next to a tree? Does that count as cover? I don't think so. Okay. Making progress. Move up a little bit, I suppose, but still stay back. I don't even know who you tried to shoot, but you failed. Very impressed with you, Theodore. Oh my god. 
Helen is an amazing shot. Look at that. She's like, follow the trajectory of her shot. It's gonna like breeze past. It's gonna like, I think it's gonna bounce. Like she's gonna shoot the tree. It's gonna bounce off the bark. It's gonna go over here and then it's gonna go plink off of this box here and then it's gonna go right here and hit him right in the back of the head. Perfect. Bleeding, 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 bleeding. <laughs> don't die on me, Yulia, don't die. You better dig your own grave just in case. Can use up my shitty small med packs before I bother using the bigger ones. Alright, Yulia is pretty close to leveling up, so I'm not going to bother healing her anymore, but I will do Helen. And we're overburdened again. Heavy gunner, hello. Oh, it's a heavy weapon, right? Heavy gunner has a heavy weapon. I suppose that makes sense. Oh my god, that thing will chew through ammo so fast. 15 to 22 damage times 6. The only thing it can do is a burst shot. Oh, the hit chance is horrible. Oh, that it's because we don't actually have any heavy weapon skill. Thing's a beast. Ooh, Harper's very encumbered. Process more of these weapons. My god, he's still over encumbered. So many things. Process all of them. Actually sure what the negative effect of being over encumbered is. <laughs> Nine pounds of broken weapon parts. What the hell is she carrying that's so heavy? Oh, multiple stacks of broken weapon parts. That doesn't help. Also, the ten plus pounds of pistol ammo doesn't help. I really need to find somebody who can use, like, SMGs or something to use these damn things up. Alright, dump your armor on somebody else. Now oh, she's over-encumbered. Now oh, she's over-encumbered. Oh, for the love of God. Alright. Harper's not over-encumbered. That was a very effective ambush. That was a... That was scary. I mean, I came here to visit the Atchison's, but so far I've only found rail thieves. Where else can I go? Can I go more to the right here? Oh yeah, I can. Yep, that's probably where the Atchison's are. Okay, well, that has been a fun filled episode full of dying animals, the provost turning on me for some strange reason, and lots of thieves, scary thieves wearing strange clothing. Anyway, 
I hope you've enjoyed so far, and in the next episode, we will hopefully visit the Atchison's.